college is starting up again. I mean, I don't go anymore, but uh, at the beginning of every year now, I just kind of go to a college and just watch, you know, see all the freshmen kind of forming their groups and whatnot. Going to college for the first time you know, is hard for everyone. It's a new place, new people, uh, new people trying to be new people. A lot of folks think about college as like this personal image rebranding campaign. Like no one knows who they are yet, so they try to kind of recreate their image with like a little more edge or something. Like maybe in high school they didn't drink or swear or get laid or anything like that. So when they get to college, they simply uh, just lie about having done those things in order to make the transition into the, you know, the edgier version of themselves a little easier. I, I mean, for example, in high school, I was kind of a nerd, got a four in AP comp sci, whatever. But in college, I wanted to be like kind of cool slash gangster, uh, maybe a a little hipster thrown in. It was kind of this unique hybrid that I'd come up with. Uh, that I think was pretty different and unique. Unfortunately, I didn't quite pull it off. I think I must have overprepared. Because when I got offered a drink for the first time in my life, I, I just kind of freaked out. Some guy just walked up nicely, asked if I wanted a beer, and I just didn't handle it very well. Sure, yeah, thank you. That, that'd be wonderful. Make sure uh, when you fucking pour it into the cup, uh, pour it to the, the side of it so it doesn't, you know, fucking foam up or whatever. It's just a trick that I learned. Uh, you know, a long time ago. God, I just <laughs> love getting wasted. What is this, natural? Is it a natural light? Or uh, uh, natty is the abbreviation that we use. No big deal. Uh, this is cool. Do you, do you know any uh, chicks that maybe I could have a, a fuck with afterwards? Now, initiation is only about three days long, but by the third day, everybody's going to be talking about how it feels like you've been there for weeks already. Whoa, it feels like we've been here for weeks already. You'll be paraded around in groups who the only thing you have in common with is the first letter of your last name. And the fact that you'll all just be constantly covered in a layer of sweat. But it's not a big deal, because you won't ever talk to these people again over the next four years. But you will point them out to your friends every single time you see them. She was in my initiation group. Now, as you may have heard, the dining hall is just going to wreak havoc on your digestive system the first few days. It's mayhem. I mean, collectively, your freshman class is going to be producing a literal sea of diarrhea, and for some reason, people are kind of uncomfortable talking about it. I found the best tactic is to just put it out there, get it out in the open, let it just float around the room a little bit. The conversation, not the diarrhea, obviously. Look, I'm only 24, but I know that some of the strongest bonds that you'll form in your life will be over shared diarrhea experiences. The first strongest is probably making love. And just a, a really close second is having diarrhea together. Just one and two, right, right there. And if it's at the same time, then yeah, that's, that's probably how you find your soulmate. It's just such a strong bond. Like, I just got a text yesterday from an old coworker uh, who I used to get diarrhea with sometimes. Yo, Rabbi, uh, just laid a soft two in the boss's coffee. Okay, that's not... <laughs> 